Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, you? Fine. Fine, fine. <clears throat> Vamos a ver, check in. Ready, ready for today? Yes. Yes, teacher, ready. Excellent. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Welcome, Rose. Thank you. <laughs> Aquí la teacher. Cállese que no ha llegado la gripe aquí en la casa. Anda dando fuerte. Sí, sí. Ahí tengo las dos criaturas con gripe y mi esposo también. Pero no es COVID, no se han hecho la prueba. Pues le dijeron que era muy pronto para hacerle el examen porque los malestares empezaron ayer. Ah, sí. Entonces, que si se hacía la prueba hoy, no sale nada. Así es que, that he has to wait. Right now, we're taking antialérgicos, acetaminofén, tecito, tecito. I made a, I made a special tea. Mm, It's very... también, no hacer, también te Ah, sí, sí. <ríe> Aquí está. Sí, vitamina C, cabal. Hice un té aquí así ve. It has pineapple, chamomile, ginger, eh, pepper, pimienta gorda. Eh, atado de dulce. Quiero ver qué más. Ah, oh, cinnamon. Cáscara de limón. ¿Mm? ¿Cáscara de limón? No, porque me arruina el sabor. <laughs> That has to be another tea. Another tea. Yeah, because this is, no, this is a special uh, for recovering the voice. For example, if you're starting to lose the voice or you start to speak like very, very bad, Uh, then you drink that tea for very often, for about two days. And then you recover your normal voice like if nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. But the other one, the one for the lemon is for, for example, if you have a flu and you are sneezing, right? Then I prepare the other one. But this is especially for the cough and for recovering the voice. And right now, that's the purpose, not to lose the voice. Because if no, imagine. <laughs> that's a problem not to have a voice. So that's the idea right now, to recover the voice. Oh, well, or not to lose it, because I haven't lost the voice. Nobody has lost the voice. But the purpose is that, to keep with the voice normal, right? In the possible. Well, I'm going to call attendance. Let's see. Okay. Now we are 12. Karen, Stephanie. Vamos a ver. Adriana. Oh, miren. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Y se acabó junio. Last day of June today. Adriana Marcela. Teacher. Hola. Present teacher. Y eso de que ya me pongo el día con las tareas de la plataforma. Esto. Está muy bien. Voy a revisar. Excelente. Excelente. Sí, Ana Alicia. Ana. 
<coughs> oh, no. No here. No. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. No. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. No. Gemma Carolina. Gemma. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. José Alfredo, no. José Alberto. Present teacher. ¿Quién? Hi, hi. Alfredo. Hi. Ah, ok. <ríe> Yo así, ¿quién? Ok, José Alfredo. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Lizette Dayanara. Nubia Zulema. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Carolina. Grace. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. No. Ok. Bueno. Uy, qué poquitos. Qué poquitos. Vamos a ver si hay alguno más por aquí. Ana. Edwin. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma. Jessica. Present teacher. Ok. Jessica. José Alberto, Carla Lorena, Lisette, Dayanara, Oscar, Rodrigo, Ana Grisel, Grace Michelle, Luis Mauricio, ok. Muy Hello. Let's. Voy a estar como ya en unos 15 minutos, teacher, porque voy en camino para la casa. Ok, José Alberto. Gracias, teacher. Jessica Lisset, ya está aquí, Pacha. Ok, bueno. Let's share here. I'm going to leave it free to share it with everybody, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Well, I have a I have a question for you. 
what is the most important aspect to be included in a manual? Remember yesterday you were uh, talking about manuals, right? And you were completing a couple of things that you're going to share. Some of you are going to share today. So the question is, what is the most important aspect to be included in a training manual? Mm -hmm. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. What is the most important aspect to be included in a training manual? What do you think? What is the most important aspect to be included in a training manual? For example, <laughs> schedules, a rules behavior that the a, that the empresa a, wait for the employees, a, describing the puesto de trabajo, the 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 work. The work describing the work. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, yes, because imagine uh, you need to know exactly, right? What you're going to use or what you're going to do. And when you're talking about the schedule, it is important to know if you have to make extra time. And that will be a part of the same payment. Or if they will pay you extra hours. Because that's also is something that the companies decide, right? If when you work extra time, they pay for those uh, hours extra. Or if they say, no, we do not pay extra hours. We better give you a day whenever you need to do an errand. Yeah. Or they say it is mandatory for you to stay 15, 20, or 30 minutes extra, right? So that's also part of this uh, manual. Uh -huh. Somebody else wants to add something? Something else? A ver, a ver. David? What do you think? What is the most important aspect to be included in a training manual? Is the, the service is the attention of the client. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me. Okay, perfect. In the, the manufacturing is the security. The, say, uh, the security, okay. Yes, safety and security. Safety and security, very good. Nice. Aha, uh -huh, Nubia, what can you tell me? Um, I think that all the process for work in different areas of work. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because um, cada, cada area is different. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Exactly, each area is different, right? So think about an area in specific and tell me what aspects you would consider important. Um, that um the service of the client uh -huh. um, the, um condition or work for the employees the working condition mm -hmm. working condition the working condition yeah, that's, of course, that's very, very important, right? Okay, great. Now, 
we're going to move here. Uh, remember, since the day before yesterday, we were talking about this, right? This is a structure that we said we used to, we use it for expressing strong advice or suggestion. That means a strong advice or a strong suggestion, right? <coughs> so you say, it would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. It would be better to, see? It would be better to let. So we have an infinitive here, right? It would be better to let employees decide what process to change. It would be better to decide uh, to let employees decide if they prefer to take a day off or to get paid for that extra day that they work or that extra time that they work. It would be better to let the employees decide if they want, how do you call that time when a uh, compensatorio, right? So something like that when you have to work that it's like, okay, so you can work today, but you will keep a day for another time when you want or when you need to take it. It will be better to let a manager take care of the situation. It will be better to let the boss take the decision in that situation, okay? So check, it would be better to. Mm -hmm. Now, you can also use other expressions to provide suggestions or other alternatives, right? For example, would you prefer, would you prefer to let employees decide what process to change? Would you prefer <coughs> to have a day off rather than get it paid? Mm -hmm. So you can ask the question like that too. Would it be better, or, or you can make it negative, right? Wouldn't it be better to rest instead of getting paid? It would be, it would be good so instead of using better here, you can use good. It would be good if the employee could make a decision about that. Yeah, it would be good <coughs> if the employee could decide when he needs to leave early. <laughs> See with that, okay? And it would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. And if you remember in the previous exercises, well, in the conversation, you had, it would be better if we had, or it would be better if we could leave early on Fridays. See? But you can also use would. This is when we're making strong advice or suggestions. Any questions there? Remember, it would be better to, oh, would you prefer to, wouldn't it be better to? It would be good if. If I use if, my verb will be in past. If I use to, the verb will be in infinity. See? Any questions here so far? No questions? To say the truth, could you repeat the explanation, please? Okay. What is exactly your question, Anna, to go directly to that point? Uh, the last example you said, the verb in past when we use if. Mm. I know 
I understood, but I, I, I want to hear again the explanation to, to get it in my mind. Okay. To get in my mind. Okay, remember we're talking about giving a strong advice or giving a strong suggestions. You perfectly know that when you make a suggestion, you can use a should, right? Or why don't you? But in this case, we want to make other types of suggestions. And for making those other types of suggestions, we are going to use these other expressions, right? And this ones. So you decide if you want to use would be better plus infinitive or if you want to use these other expressions. So I can tell you, would you prefer to go to presential classes or take virtual classes? See, so you have to uh, decide, right? Would you be better? Or oh, oh, if I, in that case, I'm giving you a choice, but I could perfectly tell you, would you prefer to stay at home? Would you prefer, would you prefer to go to school and receive presential classes? Wouldn't it be better to receive classes online? See, I'm giving you, uh, imagine if you say, why don't we go all go to school? And I tell you, wouldn't it be better to receive classes online? Yeah. Or I can tell you, it would be good if we could have class, we could check it in past. It would be good if we could have classes online the rest of the year. See? It will, it will, remember, you can change the verb here, right? It would be good if we stayed home more. See? The thing is that if you're taking this option, you use the infinitive, and if you're taking this other option, especially would it, uh, it would be good or wouldn't it be better if, so remember, you can say, wouldn't it be better to, or wouldn't it be better if, wouldn't it be better if we could uh, go out on the weekend, see? So you decide what of these structures you want to use because all of them are used for uh, giving suggestions or for giving advice. <coughs> Any other question? No question. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's move here. What you're going to do here is look at the words, put the words in order to form sentences, right? Remember, put all the words in order to form sentences, and then we will check together.
<laughs> okay, how are you doing? <laughs> Still working teacher. Okay. Be careful with the spelling, Oscar. If you are in cell phone, ahí le aparece el self, el autocorrection. <laughs> que le cambia, ¿verdad? Las palabras. But be careful with the spelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Uh -huh, because sometimes it changes one liter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah. And si se me va la letra cuando escribo tú. Ah. Cuando ah. pongo te o, te pongo y. Se va el yo. Pongo yo, se me va el ya. Se me va el yo. Ajá, uh -huh, it's true. Thank you. Teacher, we we send it by message. Excuse me. We send it by message. Message. <clears throat> No. <coughs> With ten. Ten. De enviar, no. <coughs> With two, you use the infinity. I don't know if that's what you're asking me. That if with two you use the infinity. Mm -hmm. Remember that you have to use all the words, right? Bye. I'm going to send you to the rooms so you go compare your answers with your partners. I'm sorry. We are 17 today. There you go. Go compare your answers. Try to join. Try to join Nubia, Karen, Jose Alberto. Try to join. Cutting is stiffening. Okay. 
la tercera. Let's see. It would be good if we change the, the dress code. Mm -hmm. Así la tengo. It would be good if we change the dress code. Mm -hmm. Entendemos yes. igual. Ok. En la cuatro sí. No sé si la tengo buena porque es de It would be a good idea to have a training mama for chef. Yes. Uh -huh, pues sí, la tengo bien. La cinco. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Uh -huh. Y también es wouldn't it, si lo tengo yo. Sí. Yes. Ok. La tenemos bien. Las escribimos en algo, pero si logramos compartir o... Sí, sería bueno. Aunque sea la tienen en el blog de nota, dice. Yo no tengo en el libro. No, yo en el cuaderno. Pues las vamos a compartir en la clase, pero bueno, no. No, no lo sé. Por aquí está la teacher, pero no sé si, si nos escucha. No, creo que no. Creo que tampoco. Okay. Did you finish with the sentences right now? Yes, yes teacher. First thing, we're going to change the sentences, right? Before we go to the other activity. Let me check if the other is finished. Yes. Today no. monitoring. No. No. Teacher. Sí, sí. El otro lo mandó como Teacher. Sí, sí. Bueno, está conectada después. Es que yo creo que esa fue porque si se fija en la página 22, el ejercicio 6, ahí dice de crear. Okay, tell me, chicas. Sí, Chen, perdóneme, yo no le entendí. ¿Verdad que lo que vamos? Bueno, yo como quizás no lo hice ayer, se hizo lo del, lo del, lo del manual que hay en el trabajo. You will explain today. You will explain. We did it, right? But today... Eh... I will listen to you explaining because some people, well, we checked it like very quickly. We checked it very quickly. We didn't have the, the answer of each of the groups giving their own explanation. So we're going to listen to some of you today. Because yeah, we did, uh, let me see. this part the previous part where you had the the servers uh, servers training manual that you had to make the index that was to put it in order and you had to give a reason or explain your reasons why you had put that order right so i'm going to listen to a couple of you uh, sharing before we go to uh, the next activity but right now, I guess you have finished, so I'm going to take you out. Let's go. Coming, coming. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 
Vamos a ver. What is the number one? Number one, would you prefer to have a different schedule? And that's different a question. Right? Mm -hmm. What about number two? The two uh, could, 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 could be better, be better to revise two. the manual before for what it printed. Wouldn't, wouldn't, right? You say it wouldn't. To revise. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh, to revise the manual forever. Wouldn't for to revise. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Wouldn't it be better? Mm -hmm. To revise, revise the manual forever print, printing. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better uh -huh. to revise the manual before print? Yes. Okay, what about number three? The three. Mm -hmm. The three is it good? Good, be good. Is we, is we change the dress code? Changed, Oscar. Changed. <laughs> changed. If we changed the dress code. 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 If we changed the dress code. Number four. It could be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. It would be a good idea to have training in manual for chefs. Have a training manual for chefs. Perfect. Number five. It wouldn't be better yeah. to let the manager decide. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better? It's a question. Yo la tengo diferente, teacher. Sí, it's a question. Sí, yes. Wouldn't... Yo, la tengo, yo la tengo diferente. Ajá, uh -huh. what do you have? Yo la tengo, bueno, me quedo. It's good, good, con negativo. Wouldn't. Good, wouldn't. 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 Wouldn't eat. Be See, because better. It's a question. Be better, we better. Wouldn't it be better? Be better to let to, to let the manager decide. To let the manager decide. decide. Teacher decide. Entonces va. Wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? Because it's a question. Ah, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. En la 2 y en la 3, eh, yo avanzo en la plataforma. Entonces, en la tarea 2.11 está esta actividad. Y en la segunda, lo he puesto exactamente como debería ser, la 2 y la 5, pero en el sistema me parece que está mala. Entonces, no sé si es fallo del sistema eh, o no. es mi, mi error. Es, no, ni es suyo ni es del sistema. Copie el wouldn't y péguelo. Cópielo del, del, del mismo ejercicio que le han puesto. De ahí cópielo y péguelo y sigue escribiendo el resto de la respuesta. Es por el... Por el la post post sí. oh, el apóstrofe okay. toda la vida da problemas. Entonces es el apóstrofe. Oh, o sea, no, no es que... No es que si sí, yo ya lo hice. <ríe> ya me la adelanté. Ya lo hice y sí, da problema ese y es precisamente por el apóstrofe. Yo lo escribí, yo dije, ¿qué pasó? ¿Y ¿Qué pasó? ¿Y ¿Por qué me sale malo? Y, 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 y entonces al final lo que hice fue copiar el apóstrofe. Bueno, copiar todo el wouldn't, 
y pegarlo y después escribir el resto de la oración. Así ya no le da el problema. Está bueno. uh -huh, porque es la apóstrofe. Ese es, porque el asunto es que la apóstrofe de cada compu cambia. ¿Verdad? Entonces la plataforma eh, reconoce solamente la apóstrofe de la compu en el que se trabajó. Entonces no le toma a los demás. Entonces, en las demás compos que puede variar la post. Entonces, haga ese cambio y va a ver que ahí sí le va a salir bueno. Any other question? Una no question. ¿Estamos bien? Es no bien. Bien. Y me dijo teacher. Rodrigo. ¿Qué dice la gente? Ajá. Teacher, mire. Y el good en negativo, ¿cómo que se pronuncia? Gooden. Gooden. Wouldn't. 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 That wouldn't. It wouldn't, wouldn't be better. 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 It wouldn't be better. 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 It wouldn't be better. It wouldn't be better. It wouldn't be better. Okay. Questions. Any questions here? No. No questions. Uh, no questions. Bueno, yo, yo asumo que no, ¿verdad? Porque no me dicen. Question. No me dicen ni sí ni no. Yo asumo que no questions. No questions. Teacher, fíjese que ya lo copié y la, la última siempre me sigue saliendo mala. Y tiene puntitos. Sí, como es una pregunta. Tiene signo de pregunta. Ajá, le puso el question. Ah, ya sé cuál es el error ahí. El question. ¿Cuál? Que nosotros, cuando escribimos una pregunta, ya me acordé. Cuando escribimos una pregunta, ¿verdad? Que pegadito dejamos el question. Mark. Dele un espacio. Sí, sí. Dele un espacio. Entre okay. decide y el question. Mark. Dele un espacio y pruebe. Igual. Igual me sale malo. Sí. Ahorita lo, lo acabo de hacer. Mándeme una fotito, quiero ver. Porque yo ese ya lo hice. A ver si logré que me quedara bien todo. Ahorita, espera. En el grupo de WhatsApp lo voy a mandar. Va. Revise si la letra manager está con la R o no. Y ahí es que pueden haber varias cositas. Y a veces algo bien simple nota el error. Eso por eso no me da Ve, ya, ya lo mandé de cómo empieza y cómo termina. Pero ahí le falta, en el número 5 le falta el tú. No, 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 no. Pero es que sí, pero es que acuérdese que no se logra ver todo, ¿verdad? Es que por eso mandé dos capturas. La primera ah, es que ya sé cuál es el bien. error, Catherine, eh, Catherine, Karen. ¿Cuál? Wooden no tiene mayúscula. Pero no tiene en la pregunta que le mandé. Por eso. Póngale. En la captura. Sí, póngale mayúscula. Si está empezando pregunta y no le pone mayúscula, la va a dar de error. Ya va a ver que no. Dice que yo la puse que sin mayúscula y me la valió. Y siempre, ajá, siempre me la da mala. Ya lo había intentado yo también. Siempre me la tira mal el teach. Yo la tengo buena. Cópiela y pégala en el chat. Tal vez ahí, te, ahí, ahí. ahí la coloqué, mira, Karen. Bueno, me sirve. Ahí la coloqué, Karen. Ajá, sí la tengo con... Copiala. Con, y le sale buena. Copiala, a mí sí me sale bien. Wouldn't it be better no to sé qué será. Exactly. 
voy a borrar todo, todo y con todo en el espacio tengo. con el signo también porque también es el error ajá exacto y se la tomó buena así con el buden sin mayúscula de... hoy sí hoy sí me la tomó buena sí me la tomó buena hoy sí me la tomó no sé qué era brujería es que quería que compartiera con los demás. No, es que a veces, a veces hace algo chiquito, algo chiquito. Le faltaba el D en la respuesta de Karen. De manager. ¿Perdón? Tú le decías manager. Ah, sí, sí. Tu led manager. Y tiene ah, que ser tu led de manager. Ya vio, Karen. Ah, no, sí, ya vi, ya vi, me había comido el TH. Ajá, exacto. Y si se come una palabrita, ya no se la toma buena. Ya estoy. Ajá. Thank you. Because if you see, it is similar to the example you have here, right? Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Muy bien, very good. Questions over here. Oh, ya no. Ahí sí ya vamos feliz. A ver. Yesterday, eh, yesterday you were eh, making organizing the top. Yesterday you were organizing the, the, the topics, right? And eh, we made an index, but like a, like a Frankenstein, right? Uh, with the answers of everybody. But I would like to listen to one of you sharing your index and the reason why you made that index that way. Mm -hmm. Volunteer, we did it yesterday. We did it yesterday, but at the moment of checking, we just collected the information of everybody together, but we couldn't um, put, we didn't hear a complete order of just one person to tell us why to put that manual in that order. One volunteer. Number because, one, prevention. A ver, accident. Nubia, go ahead. You have number one. Prevention on, of accident and okay. safety. What did you put in number two? But why um, prevention of accidents as number one, Nubia? Because it's necessary that people uh, know that How do you say primero auxilios? Primeros auxilios. About first aid. <laughs> first aid. ID. Mm -hmm. First aid. A ID. First aid. Aid. First aid. First aid. Okay, what is ouch? Sorry. Uh -huh. What do you have as number two? Nubia? Dress code. Why dress code in number two, Nubia? The people know that um, uniform uh, have use in the Different uh, workplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in many places people use a uniform, right? In other places it's like, yes. Yes. Do not wear jeans, but you wear your own clothes. Okay. What about number three? Addressing customer. Why addressing customers? Uh -huh. yo, yo diría Greg to know the menu. Vaya, ya me va a dar su order. Vamos a ver ahorita 
el de Nubia, porque ella me tiene que decir por qué, por qué, por qué puso ese en número uno y por qué puso el otro en medio y por qué puso el otro de al final. A ver, dígamelos todos su orden, cómo lo tiene, Nubia. Teacher, is that or the, uh, yesterday? Ah, or no, the... pero, es que, pero es que yesterday we did a Frankenstein. Ah, ok. ¿Saben qué es un Frankenstein, va? Porque todos me fueron diciendo aquí, aquí, allá, allá, allá. Va, vamos a borrar entonces y, y no sé si tiene su propio orden. No, pero ya lo hago. Va. A ver, ¿por qué? Porque, este, ajá. Yesterday we did one in everybody, right? So we made a Frankenstein. But For example, what somebody can have in number one, another can have it in number four. And probably you will have the reason for that situation. A ver, Karen, you have a different order. Karen, Stephanie, cuénteme. Yes, teacher. I have first um, getting to know the menu. Because I think learn about the company's business. Okay. Second dress code is very important. Vestimenta. Mm -hmm. Then uh, preventing of accident or safety. Mm -hmm. Porque es lo primero que le enseñan. Después de, son las reglas. Este, las medidas de seguridad del local o la empresa. Help me in English, come on. Ay, no puedo decirlo tan rápido. <laughs> you can try. Ok. Um, after following schedule. Uh -huh. Because it's necessary uh, to know your turn. Um, next, about tips and taxes. Uh, for you know, uh, you know uh, who does is work with clients uh, the payment mm -hmm. after that requesting or ship chain uh, okay some make a change some something already and addressing Kitchen personal, uh, your co worker, uh, and setting a table. <clears throat> and finally, the canting wine. The addressing the customers. Ese lo dije. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Six, seis, siete. Seven is address, de addressing kitchen personnel is seven. Oh, shit. Maybe uh, after the following schedule. So that would be number five then for you. Yes. Okay. De hecho que ni lo había puesto. Uh -huh, I imagine. And that is very important because it depends on how you talk to the customers. Un customer se le puede ir si no le gusta cómo lo trata. Bueno, yo me voy. Sí, sí. Mi mamá de esas. <laughs> bueno, yo me voy. If, if I go to a place to buy and the people who are attending are very good, I live and I don't buy. Yeah, because uh, 
you deserve respect and you deserve that the people treat you in good ways, right? So that's why I consider this is very important, right? It's something very important to teach the to teach the employees how to address the customers. It doesn't matter what type of business you have, right? So addressing customers is like extremely important. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you. A ver, just no, one you. question. Why did you leave the canteen wine at the end? Is less important. Okay. Por lo menos aquí en El Salvador. Exactly, exactly. If you were in Paris, probably you would say like it's important. But here it's like it doesn't matter how you open the bottle <laughs> and how you serve it. Okay, thank you, Karen. I want to listen to one more person. Volunteer victim, volunteer, 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 volunteer. Do you have the same order as Karen? Or you have a different order? Excuse me, teacher. I'm asking if they have the same order that you have or if they have a different order. Different order, teacher. A ver, a ver, what is your order, Anna? By number one, uh, addressing kitchen personnel. But I'm going to change color here. Addressing kitchen personnel. Okay. Because uh, as you said yesterday in the kitchen, the personnel have to know what they are going to do and know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And also that you're not going to be shouting to the rest of the personnel, right? That's another reason for not going to eat to a place. If you listen to the boss shouting to the people who are cooking or serving, right? Uh -huh. What is your number two, Anna? Getting to know the menu. Mm -hmm. Why? I understood that if it's, this is a restaurant, so first you have to put in order the, the kitchen staff, then know the menu. Number three, oh. uh, as you say, addressing customers. Mm -hmm. Number four, uh, following, wait, 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 prevention of accidents and safety. Number four, number five, following the schedule. Number six, setting a table. Number seven, requesting a shift, a shift change. Number eight, um, dress code. Number nine, about tips and taxes. And number 10, the canteen wine. Okay. So you have the same idea as Karen that here is it's not important how you serve the, the, the wine? Well, if you go a super fancy restaurant, could be, but... Mm, if it is a family restaurant... Nah, I don't probably know. people won't even ask for wine, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, baby. Uh -huh. Nice. ¿Cuál puso usted de último, Ana? Ana puso the canting wine. The same as you? The same as you, yeah. Canting wine. Ah, igual que yo. Uh -huh. And if you see, getting to know the menu is between the most important ones, right? Because if you work in a restaurant, you have to know what they serve. 
Hey, what do you have for special? And you go like, oops, no sé. Espéreme, ya vengo, lo voy a investigar. And while that, the customer is like, I know. The waiters don't know about the food they serve here. Right? So that is giving a bad image. So yes, I agree with you that getting to know the menu, it's really, really important. At the end, taxes are not an obligation in the country, just a couple of uh, restaurants uh, make that tax, uh, digo, the tips mandatory, right? That they charge the tip in the in the bill, but the rest, no. And here, we do not accustom in El Salvador, right? We do not accustom to tip. It's not common. Okay. Bueno, we're going to make a pause here to check the attendance before we forget. And then we continue. Eh, Adriana. Adriana. Present. Present. Okay. My mini robot. That sounds like a mini robot. Okay. I'm still working, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Analicia. Present, teacher. Eh, Carlos Josué. Present, teacher. David. Present, teacher. Diego. Present, teacher. Edwin. Edwin. <coughs> Elda Cristina. Present, teacher. Elmer. Gemma. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. Jessica Lisset, por ahí estaba. Jessica. No here. Jessica, Jessica, hello. No. No está. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Se aparece conectada Jessica, pero no, no contesta. No, no, no está por allí. José Alberto. Present teacher. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. <laughs> Carla no, ¿verdad? <laughs> Carla Lorena. Carla, Carla, Carla. No, no está Carla. Eh, teacher. Hi, Rodrigo. Uh, just a quick question. I don't say nothing because you not in the room. Uh, the tree, I I always put the correct information in his room. The sorry for the 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 homework. The, you mean the two point eleven, the number three. It could be good if if we if we change. Uh, the change the ask address code. If we uh, change, if you okay, can you repeat the sentence? How you wrote it? Uh, okay, it says it would be good if we we change the dress code. Also changed in past. Uh, change. Es change. change. Solo change. No, tiene que ser en pasado. Eh, change. ¿Cómo se sí. escribe? Changed. Allí está en la oración, así como se la han puesto, la escribió. Sí, así como la puse en la oración, así está. Y le puso punto al final. Eh, no. 
no le he puesto punto. Póngale punto y escriba ahí con mayúscula. Eh, change. Pongo punto. Y no me da siempre está lo mismo. Eh, eh, el change, change va normal o con T e al final. No, con E, con D, con L. <risa> con D, con D. Change, C-H-A-G-D. Ajá, porque quiero ver. Ahí le mandé una foto y siempre me la agarra mala. ¿En WhatsApp? Ajá. En ah, WhatsApp. Es, que, es que no ha escrito it, sino que id. Eh, no, it al principio va. Sí, pero usted no ha escrito it. Usted escribió id. Mm. Por eso le da error. Ahí está la otra. Dice it good. Sí, pero usted no ha escrito it. It. Cheque su oración. Spelling, it. Ahí no dice it, sino que dice id. Usted id ha escrito, Rodrigo. Ah. Ya vio. ¿Cómo? Ay, Perdón la ignorancia. Este. ¿Cómo? It. It. Así como se lo dan en la oración, así tiene que escribirlo. Pero usted no ha escrito it, sino que ha escrito id. Pero no me lo agarra. Ya lo, ya lo puse it. It. No, ahí no dice it, ahí dice id. Id. Ya le voy a enseñar. Espera. No, yes. Quiero ver. It. Mire. Aquí dice id. Bueno, vamos a hacer más grande eso. Ay, no te vayas así. Ay, cheque. La palabra, lástima que se mueve el mouse, se mueve todo. Pero. Ajá, id. No, no la cuatro. Sí, id. la. No, la tres. La, bueno, ¿cuál es la tres? La tres es id. No tiene que ser id, tiene que ser it. Por eso se la toma mala, porque usted no le ha puesto it, sino que id. Tiene que ser it, no id. It, no id. Quiero ver. It. Y la I mayúscula, ¿verdad? Y it. It could. Y it. it could es que no, no cambien las palabras tal como se las dan aquí en la oración, así las tienen que ocupar. Por ejemplo, mire, aquí está it. Y aquí me ha puesto I, it. Entonces, por eso es que le da el error. Esto no tiene que ser id, tiene que ser it. Y la letra D y ponga una T. Que teacher, al parecer este no está mostrando toda la oración desde el principio. Ajá, no, pero. Mm. No, o sea. Ah, ya, 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 eh, qué bárbara, Karen Janet. ¿Eh? Y yo tanta pastilla ya no ve. <ríe> sí, tiene razón. Esta es la L de D, la L y D de good. Would be good if we changed, if we changed. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Copie la oración completa, tal cual la ha pegado, Rodrigo, y péguela en el chat para ver qué es lo que ha puesto. 
Porque hay algo, alguna cosa está ahí que por eso no se la agarra. Vaya, cheque, sigamos con las tendas que tenemos aquí. Que nos quedamos a medias. A ver, a ver. Carla Lorena. No, ¿verdad? Dice Dayanara. Dice Dayanara. Dice Dayanara. No está Liseta y Anara, no. No está. No está. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. No. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail, no. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. No está Grace tampoco. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis. ¿Y Luis qué pasó? Se, per se perdió otra vez. Bacho. Grace. Grace Michelle. No está aquí. Bueno, let's move then. Eh, le halló, Rodrigo. Eh, yo le voy a escribir. José Ticho. Ya, ya, ya. Ya volvimos al nivel. Ya, ya se lo envié, mis. Pero así lo puse yo. Change the dress code. Póngale mayúscula a la I. No lo agarro. No, lo agarra. Qué raro. Con la I mayúscula. Sí, no, no, no lo agarra. ¿Y está seguro que así la escribió en el, en el? Sí, así la escribí. ¿La copió y la pegó aquí o la digitó aquí? Eh... Cópiame la de la plataforma tal cual usted la escribió. Vale, vamos a copiar de la plataforma. No, no lo hago. Cópialo de la plataforma tal como lo escribió y me lo pega aquí para ver cómo, cómo lo ha puesto. O me comparte mm. pantalla, Rodrigo. Mm. ¿Eh? Uh -huh. Muéstreme toda la oración. Ay, la dos la tiene mala también. La acabo de arruinar. <ríe> <ríe> Por arreglar la otra, arruiné. Va, ponga la I mayúscula. Vaya, I mayúscula. Aquí. Sí. It. It would be good if we move. It's, it would be good if we change. Changed. Dress code. Pegue el punto. No, no, ahí donde, váyase al final. Ese punto está muy separado. Ajá, cabalito ahí, póngalo. Uh -huh. Oye, la arreglé y la otra la arruiné. Ya ve, es que a veces algo así tan simple como el mundo está muy movido, está muy eh. separado. Ok, ok, vaya, vamos la, a ver. W, la otra. Capital W. Capital W. Good. Wouldn't it be better? 
wouldn't it be better? Better to revise to revise the manual and manual uh -huh. before printing. No, no, no. Que se pare el, que se pare el, el signo de interrogación, mis. Vamos a ver. Yo creo que allí, no, ahí lo quitó o, o sí se lo puso. No, no pues, eh, ese no es el caso de ese, ese es el caso de la última, esa no. Póngase, po, vuelva el, el, el signo de interrogación a donde estaba y... Uh -huh. Ajá. Vaya hacia el principio. Copie la palabra wooden del de allí y la pega. Wooden's. No sobre el it. Pero no la separó ni le puso mayúscula, mis. Va, póngale la mayúscula. Good. ¿Y ahora? It. Ese B está muy separado del it. Dele ahora. No, ese está bueno. Ajá. Dios mío. Lo mismo me pasó a mí. Yeah. Lo mismo me pasó a mí. Que, si, que cuando usted, y fíjese que por eso voy haciendo los ejercicios yo, porque a veces es una cosita así chiquita, pero el asunto cuando usted trabaja con una plataforma es que la respuesta está dada, Entonces, o la pone exactamente tal cual se puso, o se la va a tomar mala siempre. Entonces, sí, lo, es, mismo, es, es, lo tipo... mismo me pasó a mí, que el B me había quedado con doble espacio, no uno, y por eso me la tomaba mala. De, de hecho, que por eso no hice esta tarea, porque me di por vencido, porque la ponía bien y la Se computadora la estaba en contra mía. Sí, no, pero siempre que tengan un ejercicio que lleve eh, con, eh, apóstrofe o contraction, copien mejor la palabra y la pegan y le cambian a mayúscula, ¿verdad? Porque siempre le va a pedir la mayúscula. Y mm. asegúrense de que las palabras no están eh, muy separadas o que no están pegadas, porque todo eso le puede dar error. O que si tiene el punto al final, si tiene que apirarle al principio, o como en el caso del punto en la otra, que el punto estaba separado, se lo toma mal. ¿Lo termino, Vía? Sí, teacher, que tomen en cuenta esto a la hora del examen, porque el, en el examen parece algo también parecido, si uno no lo pone bien le da error sí, sí entonces cheque en el examen igual verdad, sí, lo, lo mismo hay unos de, de, de hecho hay algunos ejercicios que ustedes están haciendo allí que se repiten en el examen entonces check check that you are paying attention to all those details, if not it will give you mistake again, right mm -hmm. Bueno, let's see, let's go back. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ya arreglamos el mundo, mire qué galán. Let's go. <coughs> We did it. Now, what you're going to do here, eh, you're going to work with your partners. Han guardado su index que hicieron ayer, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿Quién se salió del grupo? ¿Quién se salió del grupo? De WhatsApp. ¿Alguien sabe? A mí solo me aparece el número. A ver. Luis Mauricio, Ticho. Ah, ah, pues ya no piensa seguir entonces. Bye. Okay, check. Remember the index that we were sharing, sharing out, that we were sharing here, right? And you were giving me the reasons for your order. 
Now, what you're going to do, you will go more advanced this time, right? But with the same index. You are going to exchange the index you created in that previous page with a classmate, then give suggestions about how to improve it using would be better too, or alternative expressions, all the others that we were checking before. And then you give the reason for your suggestions. So you say, well, I tell you that you should put the dress code at the beginning because, so tell me reason, why you consider, if you say, well, it would be better, it would be better to start the manual or to start the training manual, uh, teaching the employees how to address customers. Or is it, or it would be better, or it would be good, if we taught the employees how to address each other in front of the clients. Because sometimes uh, they can speak in an irrespectful way and the clients or the customers will not be happy with that situation. Okay, so as you go to your room, you share with your panel the index that you did and you give a, vamos a ver. I'm going to, I'm going to do two things. One, first, I'm going to send you to a group the group that you were doing yesterday, do you remember who you were working with in the index? No, ¿verdad? Lo hicieron solitos. O lo hicieron en grupo. I don't remember. Teacher, it was the last part of the class. You so did we it? did it together in the whole class. Ah, okay. You, you each of you, no. Lo hicimos en grupo y usted dijo que cada uno teníamos que agarrar okay. dos, dos, okay, okay. dos preguntas no, no. y pasamos unos cuantos, le explicamos. No, no, no. I'm talking about the index, oh, eh, Oscar, the index, the last thing you did. Yes, it was in, in the whole, with the whole group. Ajá, we checked it with the whole group. But yeah. When you made your index, did you do it individually? Or we yes. didn't do it. Individually. 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 Lo mandé a hacerlo. Lo mandé a hacerlo. Individually, right? Yes. yes. Right. So what you're going to do right now in the group is share this index that you have. Aquí tengo el de Ana y el de, y el de, y el de ay, Stephanie. Okay, so cutting Stephanie. What you're going to do now is share your index with your partner, right? Share your index with your partner, and then your partner will give you suggestions on how to improve that index. See? And then when you finish, you give suggestions to your partner on how to improve his or her index. ¿Estamos? And remember to use would be better, it would be good, and all the expressions that we started at the beginning. Remember the expressions we were using? Then it would be better. Would you prefer? Would it be better? It would be good. Yes. Okay, those are the expressions that you will use here. When that you're going to use here to give suggestions to your partner on how to improve 
your index. Ready? Estamos claros en lo que vamos a hacer. Yes, yes, hello. Clear like eso, your chata. Eso ya lo hicimos, Tisha. No, Oscar. <ríe> o sea, yo lo puse en grupo porque cada uno agarrara dos ejercicios y después no, usted hizo no, que, lo, que no, lo explicáramos. Oscar, lo no, que estaban... Eh, a, no, vaya, listen. Lo que hicieron ayer fue revisar el significado de cada una de estas frases. Ya ustedes ya saben qué significan. Eso es lo que hicieron ayer en grupos. ¿Sí? Yes. Para que ustedes sepan cuáles son las frases que estamos ocupando. Entonces, eso es lo que hicieron en grupo. Buscar el significado cada uno de ellos. Después pusieron esto en orden formando su propio index para el training manual. Hasta ahí estábamos. Yes, teacher. Lo que van a hacer ahora es intercambiar su index, el orden que usted ha puesto su training manual, con su compañero con el cual lo voy a mandar a trabajar. ¿Qué va a hacer su compañero? Me le va a dar sugerencias para mejorarlo. Así, ¿verdad? Me le va a dar sugerencias para mejorarlo usando la estructura que estamos viendo para eh, suggestions. Ahí le va a decir, it would be better if, or it would be better to, it would be good if, you'd better, or wouldn't, wouldn't it be better if, Entonces, eso es lo que usted me va a ocupar acá. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos? Ok. Entonces, no hemos terminado eh, eh, toda la actividad. Ayer, ahorita es, es como una continuación de lo que hicieron ayer. Ya tienen el index, compártanlo. De sugerencias sobre el index de su compañero y que su compañero le dé sugerencias a usted sobre el index suyo. Cómo mejorarlo. That's the point here. How to make it better or how to improve it. Yes? Estamos, estamos. And when you give suggestions to your partner, you have to explain why you say that it would be better to have the dress code in the first uh, point or why you say Uh, why you suggest to have the decanting wine at the end. Okay, so you will explain why you suggest, no, 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 you know what, Anna? I think that it would be better to have the decanting one, wine before. Because like that, we can attract people who really like to come just to drink wine. See? So you're giving the suggestions for improving the index or for improving the manual, but give reasons, right? Give reasons for the suggestions. Estamos ahora? Is that clear or you have any questions? It's clear, teacher, thank you. It's clear, thank you. Vámonos pues. It's clear. Ok. Hoy sí ya vio Oscar lo que quiero que hagan. Sí, teacher. Que es continuous, right? Continuous de lo que hicieron ayer. Vaya, vámonos. In pairs lo voy a mandar hoy. Eh, espero que estén todos. It could be better. Stay. It, yeah. it would be better to do it in pairs. <laughs> Okay, vaya pues, there you go.
try to join. Grace, 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 no here. Grace Michelle. No está Grace Michelle. José Alberto. Adriana. Adriana, Adriana, Adriana. Hi, Jessica. Trate de unirse ahí al grupo. Hello, Jessica. Teacher, solo que Gemma está de oyente. Ah, vaya, ah, pues ya le traigo aquí a, a Adriana, que justo estaba viendo para dónde mandarla. Ok. Y Adriana quedó solita, Jessica no se unió. <risa> se acaba de unir. Ok. Bye. Hola, Adriana. Teacher, eh, yo sigo, hola, buenas noches, sigo trabajando y si no, no estaba prestando atención. Ok. Sí, lo siento. Aquí le traigo a Jessica, tal vez ella está. <risa> y no me lo llevo a usted, eh, eh, José. Otra bueno, perfecto. Eh, ayer lo hicimos. Si gusta, este, voy a compartir y me dice su orden como para avanzar. Porque si no, lo puedo atrasar. Por ahí les traje a José Alfredo que está, que le mandé 10 gente y nadie estaba. <risa> ah, teacher, es que sí, porque yo estoy un poco perdida como no estuve ayer. Ah. Ajá. Entonces ahí, ahí se ayudan y yo les ayudo. Eh, y me ayudan para entenderla. Vaya. Eh, si gusta, comparto y decimos el orden y ahí discutimos. Okay. Si quiere, compare. Comparto. Comparte. Ok. Compare. Cher, cher. Ok. Uh, first in the restaurant, I think, first sitting at table. For me, sitting at table is the first sitting at table for me. Sitting at table uh, is the first one. Mm -hmm. Requesting a chip, the father one is casual. Addressing the key first one. Addressing customer. About the uh, decanting, uh, decanting wine, decanting wine, la bebida, la el vino, uh -huh, decanting wine, decanting wine, at the doors, Requ uh, following session, addressing the kitchen personal, getting to the menu. El A3 sería getting to know the menu. No. Oh, yes. Number two. Getting, getting, to, getting to know the menu. La number two is the anti wine. Sure. Um, vamos a ver. Requesting a ship. Following the schedule. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Getting, getting to know the menu, yeah, addressing. Eh. Eso el compañero. Entonces, no sé si gusta si hacemos ese, porque el que yo había hecho, eh, hay algunas que, que no coincidí. Pero exactly, que... you share your own order, right? That is the order that Stephanie did, but you share your own order. 
el suyo, cada quien. Uh, for example, David, you have your order, and then Nubia says, oh, you know what? I'm going to help you improve it. Okay. It would be better to do this and this. And then she, she, she shares her order, and you give her suggestions on how to improve it too. Tell me, Nubia. Are include all the SERP training manual. Sí, sí, sí. All. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But it would it will uh, uh, you share the order that you have. See, this is a Stephanie's order, but you make your own. You have your own order. And that, that's the one you're going to suggest. Okay. Uh, bueno, yo no sé si Gustavo vemos el suyo. Usted me dice el orden suyo. Lo coloco y luego pongo yo los míos. Y lo vi, quito y aquí y lo coloco allá. Ah, bueno. <ríe> That's okay. ¿Te parece? Ok, ok, me parece. Va, le voy a compartir entonces el manual para que lo vayamos haciendo ahí, porque lo había hecho en, en el cuaderno. Sí, yo aquí en el manual, pero Va. aquí en papel. Entonces, veamos acá. Usted dígame cómo es el orden que tiene. Vaya, yo tengo, pero no sé si estará bien. No, no importa. Vaya, el número uno, Prevention of Accidents. Ok. Number one. Number two. Todo. Excuse me. Eh, dress code. Number two. Dress code, ok. Number two. Uh -huh. Number three. Setting a table. Setting a table. Uh -huh. Number four. Addressing kitchen personnel. Address kitchen personal, okay. Number five. The canteen wine. The canteen wine, okay. Number six. Mm -hmm. Requesting a chips change. Okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. Following the schedule. Okay. Hey. We saw the yes. Yes. Um getting to know the menu. Getting okay. No more night. Addressing customer. Okay. And not for the taxes. About tips and taxes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In my, in my case, it is uh, so similar. And in me, it is similar to the, the example in the class. Is the number one is getting to know the menu because the because the necessary but the the customer service. Uh -huh, exactly. This is uh, for me. Yes, and number one and number two. Is a uh, dress code. Addressing customers. Addressing customers. Yep. Uh, the number four, prevention of accidents and safety. Okay. Number five, about tips and taxes. And taxes. Sorry. About uh, tips and taxes, number five. Correct. And number six, requesting a chief of change. Number okay. seven, the dress code. Mm -hmm. Number eight, following the schedule. Nah, the nine. Eight following the schedule. Yeah, eight. And mm -hmm. the number nine is 
is uh, setting a table. And okay. the country wine is the number 10. Okay. Um, well, I think um, prevention of accidents and safety mm -hmm. is, is very important. And um, for um, legal, um, legal, cumplimiento legal, and uh, people life. Um, I think, uh, I think first, uh, Debe ir antes de um, cuál era el siete que tenía, um, si era, aquí sería el siete de kitchen, de eight. Kit Entonces, esta cambiaría. Mm -hmm. Aquí se la voy a escribir en el grupo. Porque esta es, pienso, pienso yo que sería mejor. Would it be better to know better. about it? And tax instead of this, uh, the canting wine. Pero no sé si, si es entendible. Canting wine. Ahorita se lo estoy escribiendo al, al, ahí en el chat. Sería como la. It could be good. It would be better. Sí. Oh, it would be good. Be better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It would be good. Would be better. Oh, it would be good. Sería mejor it would be good. Instead of the counting, it would be better. It would be better, or it would be good. Yo se lo mandé, pero no sé si, si así dice también. Ahorita. Dicho, usted no, puede ver el chat. Sí, sí, sí. Está bien escrito así. Would it be better to know about tips and taxes instead of the canting wine? Póngale wouldn't en vez de would. ¿No sería mejor este que el otro? Ok, ok. Would an eat be better? Ya lo copió, Mauricio. Sí, aquí no. Ok. ¿Cuál es la que tenía de la número 9? ¿Cuál tiene? Es el número 9. Hicimos corrección. La 9 la tengo yo como requesting, requesting al Chiefs Changer. Changed. 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 
Change, no change, vea. Change. Change. Chango, el que anda por allí. <risa> <risa> Dando guerra. That's change. ¿Quién es el que se salió del grupo? Luis. Ah. Luis. Es el que siempre se reía. Ajá. Quizás equivoco y apretó mal el... El WhatsApp. Es que como no los tengo con nombre... Oh, I don't have them with names either. Okay. ¿Y la número 10? La número 10 la tengo yo como Abu Tid at um, About Tips and Taxes. About eso. About Tips and Taxes. Ajá, taxes. About Tips and Taxes. Taxes. About tips and taxes. About tips and taxes. Taxes. Tips and taxes. And taxes. Okay. Taxes. Okay. Taxes. 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 Ok, le voy a decir las la que yo tengo en orden, Mauricio. Va, dígame. La 1 la tengo como Getting to Know the Menu. La 1, ajá. La 2 la tengo como Dress Code. Ok. La 3 como Preventing of Accident and Safety. Es la última. Es la última, es la tres. Ajá. La sí. cuatro la tengo como following. Schedule. Four, number four, I have. <laughs> okay. Number four, I have. Number four, I have. Four, have. Following a schedule. Okay. What did you say? Your first, number seven. Seven. Prevention of accident, sorry, by why? Uh, I put in number seven because I think that uh, you need to, to train the, the person, the servers about prevention, but it's more important the other things that they do with the client and the service and their personal appearance. And you? Okay, uh, I choose the number seven request in a chip chain because uh, I I think the, the primary uh, option always is the customer. The employees is the secondary, I think, uh, because I choose the number seven. Uh, is necessary the satisfaction of the employees, but it is sometimes it's impossible uh, uh, Mm -hmm. give the, uh, all of the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's possible, no problem with that. Okay, number uh, okay. number eight. Okay, for me, the number Eight is dress code. Why? Uh, it's the same about the number seven. It's about the employees. It's necessary. The... Me voy para la cama. How are you doing? And, and did, did you finish, chicas? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, ya me la llevo. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you.
Ok, ok. A ver, yo creo que ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Me queda medio. <ríe> ok. Uh, ajá. Can I have a volunteer to share the experience with suggestions to improve the training manual? No? Only one. Ajá. José Alberto, tell me. Ya arruiné esto. Check the, the microphone. Ok. Uh, I, I was in the group with Carlos Josué. Okay. And uh, I think we have uh, two similar points of view, mm -hmm. but focus on a different aspects, uh, the, the operation of the business and the customer service. Because... Uh, <laughs> For me, the service training manual uh, ne uh, need to start with the getting to know the menu with the number one. Definitely. In the number one. And the number two, uh, addressing kitchen personnel. Number three, addressing customer. And number four, the prevention of accident of safety. And we have a, a conversation about uh, the, the, the different points of view. And uh, I changed my last uh, order with the decanting wine and the setting and uh, or the requesting of a, a, a chief change because uh, if I I focus in, in the customer service. I need uh, my servers or my employees uh, need to know what is the product and it's better that they know the canting wine and don't the request in a chief of change. Okay, okay. So you always have somebody, right? If somebody is going to be absent, there should be somebody else substituting that person. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay. Very great, thank you, Salberto. Let's see, I'm going to call the last attendance of the day. And we're free, right? Almost Friday. Adriana Marie and Adriana Marce. Ay, Adriana Marie. Ya <laughs> yeah, me cambié el nombre, teacher. <laughs> I changed the name to everybody. Oh my God. Adriana Marcela. Ana. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. 
Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. La Lorena. Oh. Carla Lorena. No, Carla Lorena. Lisette Dayanara. Lisette. Okay. Eh, Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Oscar Mauricio. Uh, President Teacher. Rebeca. Rebeca. Present Teacher. Rodrigo. Present Teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Grace Michelle. Present Teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Se nos han perdido dos, tres se nos han perdido. Ay, sí, sí. Eh, Ana Grisel tiene un... De no ah, vamos quedando 20, como 22 vamos quedando entonces en total. Vaya, hoy se queda Karen, Chan, Karen Chanet. And the rest of you, you can go rest. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. See you. See you. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo siguió? Ya hoy sí le estaba platicando con Ana y que le digo que ya estoy bastante mejor y yo pensé que no iba a terminar bien la semana. <laughs> Pero hoy sí estoy bien, le digo yo. ¿Y qué ya. le dio al fin? Pues era gripe o era COVID. Um, yo espero que no haya sido COVID. Uh -huh. No, me fijé, como ya cuando fui al seguro, ya prácticamente ya, uh -uh, ya me había pasado lo más crónico, entonces solo me pusieron que era faringitis. No. Faringoamigdalitis. Es que Algo así. poniendo faringitis, faringoamigdalitis, rinofaringitis, rinofaringoamigdalitis. Sí. Así es de que ya estamos bien. Ya. Uh -huh. Yo había pedido permiso. <ríe> A inglés le digo yo, déme una pausa y yo luego me incorporo. No, me dice, este, no se preocupe, me dice, incorpórese así sin la cámara encendida, me dice. Sí. Y le digo, ¿le informo yo a la teacher o a ustedes? No, nosotros le vamos a informar, me dice. Ok, le digo. <risa> sí, es que bien complicado. Uh -huh. Sí, ahorita a Carla está enferma también. Y ha estado bastante delicadita. Igual. Sí. ¿verdad? Igual. Pero este virus está raro, dicho. Está bien raro. <risa> sí. ¿Se acuerda? Uh -huh. It was the same in the 2020, before, before we suspended working. It was the same. Everybody was sick. Everybody, everybody was getting such terrible colds. But it was like, okay, you get sick today and you finish a whole week terribly bad. And the next week, okay, you're, you're like new. <laughs> Yes, we. I remember we got sick here in Jan, about January, but it took us a complete week to get better. But I'm happy that you that you sound much better. You sound more animated, right? Because it's it's not easy. It's not easy to to continue and to be working and paying attention because uh, you hardly listen because of the same, right? That that's good that you are better now, Karen. 
<laughs> Continue drinking medicine while you, uh -huh. until you get totally better, right? Uh -huh. Noté todos esos, esos las, las agüitas que usé de manzanilla, jengibre, y yes. todo eso. Uh -huh. They are really, really help you. That's what I have been drinking today. <laughs> I made a I made a special tea. Uh, I remember once I was that I had lost my voice totally, and a, and a person told me, you know what? Uh, you have to make a a tisana. She told me. I was like, oh, what is that? And she said, make a tea, put some uh, piña, that the, the cascaras, right? The peel of the pineapple, put it to boil, add cinnamon, pimienta gorda, ginger, chamomile, <laughs> and a piece of uh, atado de dulce, and boil it. Boil it, boil it, boil it a lot. And then you drink that tea for two, three days, she said. And I did it. And I recovered my voice in two or three days. Because I was like, like when you go and you speak like hardly, right? That you cannot speak very well. But in two or three days, I was speaking very well. So that really helps. It really helps. So you can do it, right? So you can continue drinking tea. I know sometimes it's like, I ya no quiero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but they help. They help a lot. And if that can help you get better, much. you're not going to work cutting right now. Uh... Oh, you finish. Oh. Your sick leave is ended. <clears throat> Me pregunto que si. La incapacidad. Sí. That's the sick leave. Ah, sí, ya. Sí. Yeah. El, el... That's ended. En martes, pero hasta el miércoles. <laughs> Ajá. Bueno, no está bien, ¿verdad? Porque se me terminó. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. <clears throat> Exactly, and the thing is that it's, start, it's raining sometimes, right? So uh -huh. you have to be very careful with the rain so you don't get uh, uh, sick because of the rain. That's something really important. Really, really important. Dígame. Vaya. Como estamos en intermedio, vamos avanzando, avanzando, avanzando. Mi pregunta es, este... Yo, yo hasta aquí uh -huh. hay cosas que sí las entiendo, me puedo entender y otras cosas que no. Para mí, uh -huh. Mi gran problema es que no puedo hablarlo así tan fluido. Pero digo yo, y si avanzamos, aunque uno se sienta limitado, puede o puede, por ejemplo, decir, mire, yo quiero nuevamente repetir este módulo. Tengo esa duda. Yo me imagino que así se puede. ¿Verdad? Yo me imagino que sí. Tengo que preguntarlo a inglés corporativo. Ah, sí, a inglés corporativo. Ajá. Ahí tengo ah. que preguntarles a ellos. Ah. Corporativo. Mire, yo sé que yo sé que voy bien, pero me gustaría. Reforzar. Ajá, uh -huh. reforzar. Can I repeat it? And they will tell you if it is possible or not. I think there is no problem. ¿Verdad? Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think there is no problem. Pero es que esa duda tenía, Olga, porque este, es que no me parece justo seguir, seguir cuando me siento limitada. Ajá, sí, sí, no, definitely. Definitely, uh -huh. that's true. And if you think that you need to repeat some topics because uh, you were not listening well or because you were not feeling well, that's okay. That's okay. But ask. I think it is possible. That's what I would think, right? That it is possible to to do it again. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So ask if if it is possible, they will tell you, sure, why not? 
If it is not possible, they will tell you, este, como que no. <laughs> but, they, but they will tell you, right? They will tell you if it is possible or not. I think, I think, yes. I think that it is possible. But it's better to ask, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Karen, I let you go sleep then. Rest, mm -hmm. I hope. I hope you feel better. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Continue resting and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you.